Hey everyone, this is my run on the Power of Wisdom Lufania stage, which is Queen's uh, debut stage. This run is a full no boss turn run, and to do a no, no boss turn run on this stage in particular, you need to understand some of the mechanics behind this. So at the start of the fight, all three bosses will always start with a full recast bar, and if they don't let off their recast attack by the time they hit 79%, what will happen is they will get a 100% HP damage reduction frame their turns um, until they actually get a turn to let off their recast attack. So therefore, for a no boss turn run to be uh, completed successfully here, you actually need to stack as much HP damage up effects as possible, which will help to reduce the HP damage mitigation they have. This is why my party is made up of Dark Knight, Cecil, Sarah, and Terra. So the way I set up my party is Dark Knight, Cecil himself carries 20% HP damage up. Sarah has another 20% damage up. Kurasame Call provides 30% on the main target and I believe 25% on the off targets. And Gabran Call uh, provides the last 10%. So this totals up to roughly about 80% HP damage up. So that, when combined with the boss's 100% damage reduction, lets off to a 20% damage reduction, which is more or less manageable. The other thing also is with Terra is with Terra's burst aura in play, Terra's burst aura provides a 20% HP damage up. So in essence, while Terra has a burst aura up in play, the 100% HP damage mitigation that the bosses have is more or less nullified. So the goal here is to actually uh, make as much damage as possible while Terra's BT Aura is in play. And for that reason, I actually hold off on using Terra's BT until the orb is about to appear. Because from 100% to 79%, you do normal HP damage to all 3 enemies. That is also why I am sort of delaying bringing in the support COD into play here. Obviously, you want the COD to be in play when Terra's burst aura is also in play so that you get the most out of the follow-up attacks. So at the start of the fight here, essentially all I do is to set up all my relevant call debuffs and debuffs from the party. You can see all three enemies are stacked up very nicely on the debuffs. Beyond that here, I'm just trying to delay as much as possible using Dark Knight Cecil's LD, which delays all three enemies by one turn, and hold off on using Terra's burst effect as long as possible. Obviously though, you can't let the bosses have a single turn here because I don't have any damage mitigation in my party, which means that the bosses let off their recast attack uh, is a run ender for, for me. So right here, um, the bosses are really about to get their turn and Terra has the next turn after Dark Knight Cecil. So this is where I bring in the support COD. The important thing about support COD when you bring her in is you want to make sure that all enemies are broken when she comes in. Because if she comes in and her BT attack breaks an enemy, she gets an instant turn after that which really reduces her lifespan in the field. You actually want her to take as few turns as possible so that you can maximize the time in, she has in the field to use her follow-up attack with Terra's uh, Meltdown spam. Alright, so setup is complete. Uh, all three bosses are at, at 79% and so they have the Lufania Orb out and they also have the 100% HP damage mitigation out in play. I have my support COD out in play with her BT Aura activated. So this is where I go straight into Terra's uh, burst mode so that I can quickly trigger her BT Aura after that.
With Cloud of Darkness, she will eventually get a free turn because one of her follow-up attacks will eventually break the enemies. During her free turn, you always want to use LD. And that's because her LD re-breaks all enemies, which prolongs the time until their brave will reset again. Now coming to Terra after using her burst mode, this is the part of the fight where you want to maximize damage as possible because she has her BT aura up in play. So I have approximately 100% HP damage up stacked at this point, which more or less nullifies the HP damage reduction from the enemy. Because there's 3 enemies in the field, the skill of choice that you want to use with Terra is actually Meltdown Plus rather than Meteor. That's because Meteor does only single target damage, whereas Meltdown does 80% splash on, on the off targets as well, which actually equates to more HP damage total com uh, compared to the uh, Meteor plus spam. One thing about the call abilities here is that if you have Ingus LD call, I will actually recommend to consider using Ingus LD call in place of Jack LD call. In this fight, I don't think you need to stack up a lot of defense down, and really HP damage up effects are very crucial in a no boss turn run here. So if you swap Jack LD call with uh, an Ingus LD call, you get an additional 10% HP damage up, which may uh, make a significant difference in this fight. The other thing about the Lufania Orb is that because the boss's turns are framed here, you can't delay the bosses to increase the Lufania Orb count. So the way that I manage the orb here is to have passive HP region, and that actually came or comes from a, a Porum Refined Sphere on Sarah. So I have a, a Refined Sphere on Sarah that provides HP region, and that's enough to actually maintain the orb for the entire fight very comfortably. Any refined sphere that provides passive HP regen will work. Um, so if you have any, just slot it into Sarah and you're good to go. So right here, I'm just spamming as much meltdown as possible, um, and then using Cloud of Darkness's uh, LD every time her free turn comes up. You do want to keep an eye on the Cloud of Darkness friend support. When she's low on friend support turn, you can actually prolong her time in the field by using one of Terra's additional ability at the time when the boss's brave are about to reset. Because if you use Terra's additional ability then, the brave will reset but Cloud of Darkness will not be able to use her follow up attack. That allows you to break everyone with uh, Terra again, thereby prolonging Cloud of Darkness's time in the field. So the way to calculate the Brave Reset is to count up to 5 after Cloud of Darkness has used her for her free turn. So this is the turn right after Cloud of Darkness used her, her LD. So here would be 1. And every turn after this you just count up to 5. And once you reach 5, the next turn after that is when the Brave will reset. And that's when you want to use Terra's AA to reset the Brave and keep Cloud of Darkness darkness longer in the field.
So at this point I've run out of Terra's LD and because of that there's no reason to keep Cloud of Darkness in the field any longer. Even if I try to prolong her eventually she will get a turn anyway. So I just allow Cloud of um, Darkness Cecil to come back in so that I can at least do some launch and damage the bosses that way. The run is here isn't too optimized because I did make a mistake earlier on on burning one of Terra's free turn using her additional ability. So I think if you further optimize damage and possibly if you have Ignis LD call on top, you should be able to come very close to killing them off by the time Terra's LD runs out. Regardless of which, because I've spammed many turns with Terra's meltdown using her LD, the bosses are significantly delayed and you can just use this time to finish them off. You will be doing less damage than expected because of the HP damage reduction in play but uh, with the boss's HP at sub 10% remaining it's just a matter of time until you finish them off. I was actually hoping to finish them off without using summon but I actually had to pop summon at 1% to prevent them from getting a turn. But again, you know, if you optimize this run further, you should be able to actually complete this without even using summon as well. So right here, the bosses are really about to get their turn. So really unfortunate here, I had to pop my summon to finish them off. But uh, I think really with a more optimized approach in terms of damage, you can potentially kill them off before the, you use your summon ability as well. That's it, hope this video has been helpful and as always if you enjoy the content, do leave a like, comment or subscribe, it really helps a lot. Till then I'll see you guys in the next Rufania fight, bye bye.